Okay, hi guys. So, firstly, I do want to apologise for my last video. You know, it proportionally got more downvotes than the YouTube Rewind video, and that wasn't really that popular. So, today I thought I'd kind of take my revenge on you guys for being such wicked people, and, you know, full refunds for the video will be in the mail, so you can expect to uh, receive that pretty soon, guys. I've been spamming Facebook. What advice would you give to a retail player for Classic? Enjoy a good game? Well, is it a good game? <gasps> oh, I said it. Yeah, of course it is. I'm, it's going to be amazing. So, yeah, some people have posted some awesome memes. Just look at that. That just looks like classic WoW all over. <laughs> Brilliant. I wouldn't. Well, that's kind of good advice. I mean, I did actually used to be really, really, really addicted to classic WoW. Um, enjoy the grind. Your legs are going to get a workout. Don't worry about flying. Honestly, really good advice here. Um, for anyone who is new to Classic WoW, this is who the video is for, by the way. It's not for you, the fans who have been playing this game for 15 years non-stop. 16 years, maybe. Who have pretty much all the achievements, have done all the quests in the game. It's for the people who are new, so, you know, you can't downvote. Come on, guys. <laughs> you can if you want to. It's a free country. Um, it's because there's no flying. That's true, there is no flying. Um... So check out Class Guides by Corgos on YouTube, and there's a link to it there. I can put a link in the description. Um, you may get some really good um, advice. Um, although, to be honest, you're probably going to get more good advice from this video. Patience. Yeah, to be honest, that is a really, really good one. Um, you're going to need an awful lot of patience. Um, don't play it. Yeah, because it's kind of really addictive, and it's also difficult. Modern WoW is... I don't know, when I um, came back to Modern WoW, started playing it and I felt like some kind of power ranger, you know, swishing my sword around, just uh, never go ass to mouth. Yeah, that's really good advice generally in life. Thank you very much, Mr. Jim Robert. Um, keep going. It's not easy and will not be a walk in the park, apart from if you're somewhere like um, Darkshire or somewhere, which kind of is a scary walk in the park. Um, but find a friend and keep going. Yeah, I've actually got two buddies I'm going to be playing with, so it should be pretty sweet. For your first tune, I pay attention to the quests. They tell you where to go and what to do. There's a lot of time running, so you'll get used to reading as you go. I remember the main parts, um, and when you level your alts, it'll go faster. Really good advice here. I think probably a lot of people are going to be using something like Questy or whatever, which again was some advice in the last video, which was complete junk apparently. But then again, I'm just being bitchy. Um, but yeah, okay. I'm sorry, guys. It was the worst video on YouTube. And I'm very, very sorry. Honestly, I'm so sorry, guys. You know? Uh, okay, remember, it's only a game. Don't take breaks from the game to exit in real life. Take breaks from real life to play the game. Good advice, but kind of not very true. I mean, if your guild needs you to be up till 2 in the morning, you probably better be up till 2 in the morning. I mean, this isn't a casual thing, guys. You know, this is serious. Battleground twinks will almost one-shot you, and saps last 30 seconds. Over and over. If Bliss has stayed true to vanilla. Now, to be honest, I did play vanilla, and this is actually true. Um, so I was in Battlegrounds, and some twink um, warrior ran up to me, and one hit me, and I was a mage, and I was like, oh my god. It's a bit unfair, isn't it? But then again, to be fair, I shouldn't have let him hit me, because I'm a mage, and I could actually freeze him out and kill him, but uh, you'll live and learn. Yeah, those rogues were... Oh, man. You're going to have some fun with rogues playing, playing the original game. Honestly, like... um, Okay, so rogues can't run super fast, but still, if they kind of get you, especially if you're trying to kill people, you know, it's kind of fair game because that's part of being a rogue, I guess. Um, I don't play a rogue, but I do play a druid, so I kind of know a little bit. It's kind of fun, you know? Um, Never played classic, but please stop asking for finder that wasn't in classic everyone by now should already know this um literally no one is seriously asking for it people just say it's a troll and bait people very true no one really wants to find a thing right because what's the point of clicking a button to beep oh wow i found a group oh wow i'm in a pug five minutes later wow that was a good pug and i've gained 10 levels yeah but if you haven't played classic then you're going to be in a sh in for a shock you know you're not gonna like get three levels in one run honestly you're very lucky to get like half a level in one run 
But to be honest, it is worth having these ones because you do level far more quickly. So yeah, guys, team up, you know, um, especially around the level, you know, level 15 onwards, really. Um, you can gain an awful lot of experience from um, running dungeons and things. Read for quest text. Again, really good advice here. Patience. Yeah, you're not going to actually... If you haven't played Classic WoW before, you're probably going to spend at least two months, and probably more, if I'm honest, um, just getting to level 60. Um, and to be honest, that's probably playing, I don't know, like eight hours a day or something. Um, so, yeah, um, be prepared for that. In the, enjoy the game for what it was and what it was meant for, not what it has turned into. But to be honest, I was um, listening to some of the people who made Classic and they didn't know what they were making. They were just trying to make a game that they would enjoy playing and, you know, it kind of worked. Um, it kind of worked really well, you know. It's one of the longest running MMOs and it's kept up the player base amazingly well over the years. Don't buy anything until you're level 40 and sell everything that you pick up or make. Again... I don't know, because it's kind of good advice there, but I quite like buying things, especially when I'm a low level, you know, I quite like buying the armor and stuff, but you know, there is some merit to that, because you don't want to be spending all your money on stuff in the auction house, honestly, you just really want to be saving up for a mount, okay, um, unless you are actually trying to build a twink, which is um, a character which, as you probably already know, um, is super powerful and is kind of stuck at a particular level. Um, buy some adult diapers and several cases of energy drinks. Good advice about the energy drinks. I think I'll skip over the diapers. Be prepared to die. A lot. The worst ones are probably for murlocs, you know. If you're, um, you know, running into a murloc camp, be prepared to die, you know. Even in, um, starting areas, murlocs are pretty deadly because they hunt in packs. You're gonna be bored. That's my advice. Oh, never. Never. Never going to be bored in World of Warcraft, how could you be? I mean, watching my warrior swing his sword around for 100 hours, 200 hours, 1000 hours, it's amazing guys. You grind and get to choose what you want and need, not what they give you in the random broken system they have in retail. And the biggest thing in Classic is you're not alone, you will meet tons of friends and people to help you that you never get in retail as it is today. Now, very good advice, but this, the kind of same necessity is the mother of invention, okay? Um, and in World of Warcraft, necessity really is um, a great way for people to bond, you know? You might meet someone. Um, look, and believe me, you wanna make some really good friends in Warcraft, okay? So you want a friend who's a mage, right? Um, who can give you all kinds of delicious drinks and food. You want a friend who's a warlock, who can portal you places. D to be honest, you want a friend who's a druid, because druids are awesome. They are really good at off-tanking, and they're quite good at um, resto, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> Have fun coordinating 40 people to complete a raid during the week. That'll be a few slack guilds that will complete that task regularly, but for the most part, It'll be weeks, maybe months, into raiding before most guilds have MC or farm status, and that's just the beginning. Yeah, that's World of Warcraft in a nutshell. You're gonna level up to 60, you're gonna meet a whole bunch of people, and then you're gonna think, um, okay, now I'm 60, what do I do? Oh, okay, now I need to do all these massive raids. And like they said, you need to coordinate with 40 different people, if from your guild or from other guilds sometimes, but yeah, pretty much from your guild, so. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's fun! Yeah, so this is a good point. In retail, there's really no reason to talk because your toon could handle most of the quests by himself or herself. In other words, the quests are easy. Since the same quests are hard in Classic and you don't have heirlooms, you're just going to ask for help because the same quest is a bitch. In retail, there's not much reason to talk to people, but in WoW Classic, there's loads of reason to talk to people, namely the fact you want to complete a quest. So you have to go and you have to type who slash who, and then you've got to find someone and you've got to beg them, Oi mate, can you help me with this bloody quest? And they'll be like, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to some battleground, some, I'm going to some instance somewhere. I'm not going to help you. And like, oh, come on, mate, come on. It's only like a 10 minute ride for you. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, fine. I'll come and I'll help you. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen.
things are to be celebrated, unlike in retail, they can be few and far between. One of the things that makes the grinding experience in Classic WoW more fun is when you level up, you kind of go on your guild chat or the local chat and you type ding exclamation mark and everyone says, wow, congratulations. Wow. Nice one. Awesome. Um, and then you get a nice dopamine hit and that kind of, kind of keeps you coming back to the game. Okay. That's basically the only reason people play the game is they want that dopamine hit. They want to level up. They want to put their point in the big point tree and that's basically it. Okay. So Mr. Ty says invest early in professions and keep up with them. Save every last copper. You're going to need it. You have the benefit of history. So you know what is going to actually be in demand. So one of the things I love about WoW players is they have got an encyclopedic knowledge of the game. Honestly, you can just go to the local chat, right? And you can ask questions that are incredibly complicated and involved. And people will just know the answer, right? Because people are amazingly smart and the World of Warcraft community is literally amazing. But yeah, literally people are walking encyclopedias and enjoy it. It's slow, it's hard, it's frustrating at the best of times. But remember, if it wasn't good and worth playing, we wouldn't have the servers being brought back. To be honest, I think one of the reasons why a lot of people are going to be playing this game is they probably never got to experience much, much of the end game content originally, right? Now, a lot of people did, I'm sure, but, you know, you always kind of, I don't know, with Warcraft, it's almost like you get near the end game content, right? And you get some of the best gear. Um, and then what happens is Blizzard will release um, another patch. And then basically you can go and you can farm all gear, all the gear that you've got in about five minutes. And, you know, that's kind of retail today, you know? So yeah, you put, um, I don't know, three months into getting this amazing gear and then like every new bomber block has basically got equivalent gear in about five minutes after the patch and you think oh I can't kill everyone anymore as effectively and that's kind of a letdown but that's life I guess <laughs> and they say computer games cause violence Carlos says don't expect to get to level 60 very quickly it's gonna take a while now this is really good advice right it is gonna take a while honestly it is a trap and it is funny gift woman. You are gonna need food and water or a buddy who's a mage because honestly, you're gonna be eating and drinking a lot, okay? This is what the life of a mage is. Pull a mob, kill about six of them with AOE, drink for about 30 or 40 seconds. Repeat, ha, <laughs> that's basically the rotation of a mage in classic, but it's awesome, I love it. When I was in a good guild, and I still remember some of the people in the guild. Unlike Modern WoW, I don't even remember what my guild name is, to be honest. I mean, it's been a while since I've played, but I remember my first guild that I was in and the people there and the hunter. And I remember we had a um, dwarf healer and we had a whole bunch of other people. And they were all kind of awesome, you know? And um, I remember getting awesome gear in Molten Core and whatnot, and I just loved it. And, you know, if Classic recreates a bit of that, it's definitely going to be worth playing. Good advice here, don't play a hybrid hoping to do anything other than heals in raids. So I'm still thinking of being a druid, but I realise that in raids I'm just going to be probably healing at the back. Um, I know some druids can off tank, but yeah, if I do play a druid, I'm kind of prepared to be a healer, okay? Because, you know, healing over time, I still think it's pretty sick, you know? It kind of makes it a lot easier for um, the proper healers to actually do their job. Oh, I said it. Oh. I'm sorry, druids. I'm so sorry. Paladins are no better, though, to be honest. Are they? Come on, guys. So some of my advice is, if you like a running simulator, you're going to love Classic, right? Because there's a lot of running involved, and then you get a mount, and you go 60% faster, which is still slower than modern mounts um, by a heck of a lot. I mean, we're getting 300% flying at the moment, right? Or more. So 420 flying, is it? <sighs> pretty quick guys but yeah um vanilla is a slower game okay and it's kind of um a game where you need a bit more like long-term thinking and a bit more strategy right because it's very easy to um log in for say an hour and run for about 
20 minutes of that time just running between places so you've really got to keep your noggin a jogging if you want to be an effective leveler okay enjoy the process of leveling embrace the rpg aspect make friends it's not a race to get to 60 and min max i'm just loving this meme so true you are not prepared get used to a slow long grind and dying yeah, you probably will die a bunch of times. You'll think, can I pull six units or can I pull five? As a mage, this is. And you'll think, oh, I'll try for the six. And then, oh dear, I've run out of healing potions. And oh dear, I can't run away. No, I'm doomed. <sighs> okay, so one bit of advice I'm going to give you is if you guys die, right, run back to your corpse. Honestly, I know it's faster to heal at the... Um, of the healer lady but honestly you're gonna take like 10 percent damage for all your equipped equipment and that's really painful the other thing i think you can do is if you unequip your armor before you die i don't think you actually take the um penalty so you know that's one thing that you could certainly consider you could even make a macro that will help you do that okay so esme said take advantage of a no death penalty before level 10 and the one minute per level sick resonance um, res sickness after level 10 up to level up to 10 minutes if it takes you five minutes from a graveyard to go to a quest and you're dead at level 13 res at the graveyard and the res sickness is gone by the time you're there don't just pull mobs um especially handy in starting zones 1 to 10 because no res sickness at all and minor repair costs um get professions as soon as you hit level 5 and level them along with your character. I recommend first aid, skinning, and either herb or mining if you want to make some gold um, for your first mount along the way. Before you start, choose a specific talent build if you want an easier time. Figuring out which talents you want can be annoying, so if you rather have a set talent build, um, look a few up. One of the things I've done before is you choose your first talent and you think, what have I done? I've just chosen a talent I don't really want. And then you think, ah, okay, it's only one goal to um, undo your talents. Um, but that really escalates. I think it goes one gold, five gold, ten gold, a million gold. Kill everything in your path. There aren't enough quests in Classic to bring you to level 60. So kill all mobs on your way to the quests. Quest turn in and on your way. Anywhere, really. It saves a lot of the um, 58 to 60 grinding. Partly true, but I think this, is the, this isn't the original version, so I think there should be enough quests to get you to 60, okay? Um, Classic had no quest markers. If you want them, install Questy. Um, okay, though some people say this will ruin the experience. So one of the other things that you need to do is if you're not using Questy or something like it, then you really need to read the text and to be honest i would recommend le reading the texts anyway it brings the game to life you know some of this game is actually given to you through the text through the story don't buy stuff off the auction house at early levels um don't hang around the auction house too much either okay make a bank alt and bring it to level five head over to your main city and mail all your stuff and all your junk over to your bank alt for the auction house um trust me yeah um Actually, I think the mail is a really good storage um, system, but I think the mail expires after 30 days. So one of the things I did want to say is if you see a member of the opposing faction, then you don't always have to attack them, right? Just try to read their body language as much as you can, kind of figure out what they're doing, you know? Some people are kind of waiting to see if you're going to become weak, as in you attack enemies um, and your health will drop and then they'll attack you. But generally, most people are quite nice. Shauna said... Avoid Hogger and Stitches, read the entire quest, and get in a guild ASAP. Hogger's quite hard to take down. Um, you can easily take him down with someone else, maybe two or three levels above, but yeah, he's a bit of a pain, actually. And oh my goodness me, Stitches is kind of scary. Um, he's this um, ghoul who will sort of run around and kill you, and he's totally um, ridiculously overpowered. And I think he's in Darkshire, along with a bunch of other crazy characters, so... Keep your eyes open in Darkshire, it's kind of a strange place. Um, not at all like modern World of Warcraft, because you will get some crazy level 60 elite dude running after you trying to rip you to shreds. But keep an eye out for elites, right? 
because elites are really, really hard. In the wetlands, for example, just avoid all the elites, period, right? They are, s those dark iron dwarves are such a bloody pain, okay? Just stay away from the elite ones, okay? Just honestly, stay away. You know, they will kill you over and over and over again, and then you'll get 10 levels higher, and you'll go back and they'll kill you again. Oh my god. 